Hello everyone. As I had promised, I would make a dedicated video on my physics strategy after my syllabus is completed for physics. And my physics syllabus is about to be completed in the next two three days. I'm currently doing uh, errors and measurements. So I will tell you my plan with the goal of targeting J Advanced 2026. Hopefully, this gives you some ideas for your own prep. Once my syllabus is done, my first priority is to finish all the homeworks given by Salim sir in class. That includes selected HCV questions, selected Erodov questions, J Mains PYQs from his slides, and after that, I would be doing the J Advanced PYQs, which Salim sir also gives in class. And in the chapters in which he has given KPPs, I'll be solving them as well. After that, if there are any advanced sessions given by him, I'll watch those as well. Next, I'll move on to some selected questions from SBT. I actually found a set of questions from a Reddit user who shared Vinay Upal sir's recommended ones. I think they will be really useful. Although I won't say to rely on them completely. Along with that, I'll also be solving SS Krutov, which I think is a great problem-solving book, and it also has limited number of problems, so I think it is a good choice. So this August to November phase is basically about building advanced level concepts and problem solving. After mid November till January, my focus will shift to mains. Before moving on, I want to tell about PW Special Independence Day offer for all J aspirants. We have Arjun Ajay 3.0 for class 11 students as 4299, Lakshmi Ajay 3.0 for class 12 students as 4299, and Prayas Ajay 3.0 for droppers at 3999. Hindi versions of all three batches are also available for just rupees 1999. Along with these, you will get chapter wise handwritten notes, daily practice problems with video solutions, and peer. to be a doubt solving also pw's je books are on discount right now you can check them out in the pw store and if you want additional discount use my coupon code arzu150 this offer is for a limited time only so enroll soon from mid november i will take out my je mains pyq book and solve every question till mains 2023 Obviously, I'll be skipping the very easy and repetitive ones. Also, for certain chapters, NCERT is important. Specifically, electromagnetic waves, semiconductors, modern physics, wave optics, ray optics, and current electricity. I'll read the NCERT line by line and underline the important points. This is because in mains 2025, there was a direct graph-based question from current electricity that wasn't covered in the usual JE classes. So yeah, NCERT is still matters for some topics. I will also be following Eduniti YouTube channel for revision and I might attend his question solving sessions as well. From November to January I am aiming to give 100 mock tests basically one every day so that even if I procrastinate I hopefully still complete around 80. My idea is to keep a high target so that even on days where I feel burnt out or I have bad days I achieve more than if I had kept the target low. After mains I will follow Varun batch that's for sure. and i'll also try to make use of 700 plus illustration and the level 3 of svt for problem practice although i'm not sure how i'll proceed at that time i will let you know when time comes for revision obviously i'll be star marking the good questions and i'll be saving the questions which are solved from a soft copy into notion i'll also be doing five unselected questions from svt every time i do a revision so that i keep building advanced level approach an advice i'll give to you is that j mains and j advanced physics are very different in terms of difficulty even if you're focusing on mains if a teacher is solving an advanced level problem in class treat it very seriously i personally think that j 2026 will be even difficult than 2025 and a lot of teachers say the same thing as well so it's best to prepare for the worst so that's basically my plan i hope it gave you some clarity see you in the next one